Hello there and welcome to some more Imperator Rome. This time I'm playing as Frisia. Frisia, Frisia. Uh, I'm gonna have a bit of go, uh, a bit of a go at colonising through uh, Netherlands and Holland this uh, this campaign. But first, I'm invading. Well, I'm not invading. Yes, I am. I was invading this guy here, and then these two guys, his friends, jumped in. So I called my big buddy in, and we've basically defeated them. I've defeated this guy. This guy. We're gonna leave him. I. We could wait for this siege to come through, but then uh, I wouldn't be able to get land because my ally here is taking it. So there's no real point in strengthening my ally. May as well just have a weaker enemy. Anyway, this uh, this guy over here, he's decided, oh, this is a perfect time to invade. So I have got my two friends in, and we're going to fuck him up. But first, let's have a look at the peace deals here. So I have learnt something new. That is, separate peace does exist. But you cannot do it until uh, someone's been in the war 36 months. If they've been in the war for 36 months, you can separate peace out their allies. Very interesting. Anyway, I want this, and I want this, and I want all of your fucking money. And uh, thank you. And I also, this time, I don't want to just crucify everyone. I want some more families in my land. Because these families, these clans, build retinues. These are armies I don't fund with my money or manpower. So I want a load of these cunts in my nation. Uh, sorry about that. I want a lot of these people in my, uh, in my nation to try and sort some of this out. It's going to lose me popularity. But I can just crucify the other lot later on. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay in some of these people. Now, who's loyal? You lord you 100, but is that to yourself? Popularity. Uh, he's got some popularity. Popularity, loyalty, popularity, loyalty. Okay, how about everyone except for this guy? Because I think he is... Yeah, he's the tribal chief, so... So we're going to get some of these other people in, instead. Just so I have some extra families in here. We're going to embrace all these guys, and we're going to have the rest crucified. Excellent. So now we've got some extra families in our land. Hopefully, they'll start to build retinues. And let's also learn more property taxes. I like money. Money is grace. Money funds the world. Anyway, the tactic I'm using this time, due to my Anglia campaign, I used my own soldiers, and I had no manpower for fucking 40 years. Because you see how slow this stuff grows. It's going to take forever to get 45 to 14,000, especially when you are constantly at war. You can lose that many men in a day, so it's going to take forever. So what I've been doing is sending in these guys, the clan retinues. I've been keeping my army in reserve. So we're going to move these guys over here. I'm going to move you guys over here, and then we're going to try and attempt to besiege this. Hopefully my allies will do the heavy lifting of fighting their armies. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, these guys are these guys are all law now, and I want to get a lot of fortresses because attrition kills. If you can avoid fighting your enemies and just let attrition kill them, you'll have a much better time. So I'm going to try and build as many fortresses as I can. I might start by doing a level two on my capital because 10k is quite a big army early on in the game, or I might try and do one over here. Do I still? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! This I didn't take that. Oh, I thought I was going to annex the entire nation. Oh, okay. Is that... Oh, yeah, that's actually part of a different state. I see. So I only took this state, which is that. I didn't take this state. I would have had to march down and occupy both this land, which would have been piss easy. But that's another mistake I've made on my part. That's another learning curve. Also, the game's running a bit more smoothly now. I don't know what the hell has happened, but it's a lot better. I'm, I'm a huge fan of it working this way. Alright, so I want that, so we're going to have to get that back later on. But what I should have done is just simply occupied it, and then I would have been able to take it. So that's another learning curve. I've only played about 10 hours of the game. Obviously, uh, the content for the first few days, this is release is going to be not the best. Other YouTubers have had a lot more access. Some of the bigger channels have been invited to private sessions and such. They yeah, a little bit more than me, but I am learning fast. And I'm having fun with this game. There are a few issues which really do irk me, like the mercenaries, but the devs have said the mercenaries are going to be fixed before the game is released, so I shouldn't still have all of that trouble where you, a mercenary can leave the day after you hire them, or, oh fuck, I don't want you getting that, Saxonia 25th, 
Saxonia, Saxonia, first of October. Twenty-three of September. Holy fuck! That's six days later. <laughs> Can I get here first with you guys? Twenty-fourth of September. Twenty-fifth of September. Excellent. So we'll get here first, and then we'll just simply move my army out so I don't die of attrition. Actually, yeah, the devs have said that the mercenary issues are going to be fixed. Hopefully they fix something with the manpower, because it just takes so bloody long. Maybe it's working as intended. Maybe it's meant to take bloody forever to get its manpower when you are a tribe. If it is, it's annoying. But you see, in this one, tri one tick of attrition, I have lost 225 men. One tick of attrition. 225 men. I gain 45 a month. It's going to take me nearly half a year to get those men back. That's one tick of attrition. It's going to take me nearly half a year to get these men back. That's the issue I'm having here with the uh, with the manpower. It really is large. How much did I lose that winter tick? Oh, they actually all came back. Great. Because of that. We'll lose 135 men to attrition this month. Alright, maybe we'll move here instead. Why? Why are we suffering? I thought if I hovered over it, it would show me, but never mind. Uh, defensive P uh, League from Avonia. I do like uh, defensive packs. Who's he with? Here's true, so these people allowed military access importing defensive packs with Cheruskia. I think he's somebody I want to kill. It is. But we can have patience. I'll accept your offer for now. I'm sure I can leave this shit whenever I want. What I really want is all of your land, buddy. Which means I might have to occupy it personally. Might, but they actually seem to be uh, defeating their armies there. I could get involved, but I don't want to, because they're going to come in here and make that a real fight. So I'm actually going to fuck off over here again, and if they try to attack the siege, I will just simply move in my reserve army. That's what reserves are for. Reserves are for marching in right at the end. See, my manpower's gone down 500. I haven't fought a battle. It's crazy. I need to be able to get it up, though. <laughs> Sorry, I just uh, just distracted myself for a second, scaring my cat. She's uh, fixating on a toy trapped behind a door, so I threw something at her. Yeah, a little bit of clothing, but it was funny. Anyway, let us get back to more important things in life. Trade! Earn us some ducats. Have I got my surplus turned off? Block surplus. Very good. That means I'll always keep my surplus. Which is terrific. I can maybe try and take these guys out. But then you're here, so you'll do it anyway. In fact, let me uh, let me go suffer a month of attrition. And try to occupy that. Because I want to make sure that I get as much of this land as possible. It's all the same... Uh, in Germany. It's all the same uh, same load of land. Good. Good. Very good. So hopefully I'll get all of this. And hopefully my allies will defeat all of their armies. He doesn't really have... Oh, he has quite a few troops lurking around. Yes, that's why he thought he was a badass who could invade my land. You see, these guys, they've already got a 10k stack back. I would never get that much. But it's all clan retinue. Alright guys, I don't mind uh, making some money off you. Military access from these guys, I... I'm gonna ignore... Ignore them, I don't care about these people. In fact, no, they're my friend. Ah, uh, never mind. I should have accepted it, but they already have access. They are, my, like I said, my friends, so... They shouldn't have an issue here. I'll have to go all the way around. I'm just gonna stand here. I'll worry about stuff later. I could worry about this battle. That looks like something we would be able to win. But no, even if I lose 500 men, it's going to take me half a year if I can get them back. It's not worth it. I'll just stay here and watch. They're going to win anyway, without the numbers. So I really don't need to worry. I just hope that they don't try and take some of this land for themselves, like they did with these other guys. Because if they had transferred the occupation to me, I would have happily taken it. I would have happily... Oh, the, uh, the scrolling around has gone a bit bad again. See, they are. They're trying to take it. I saw something about slaves as well. Unsling. So we actually moved a slave over. Oh, great. We're enslaving, motherfuckers. 
too. All right, all right. We've been uh, taking some slaves home. All right, so if I try to uh, super piece here, give me all of this. I think they will. Plus quite a bit of money. So I'm going to be able to build two fortresses now. And I'm going to do it. I want some fortresses. Alright, our enemies deserve no quarter. Or do I want more families? No other family has built a retinue yet. Maybe I'll take one extra family. One minor family. Pass judgment. Siggy. He sounds cool enough. We'll, uh, we'll save Siggy. Have the rest crucified. Welcome aboard, Siggy. Please build a retinue. I need it. Alright, I want some fortresses. Do I have fortresses anywhere? Is there a fortress map mode? Fortification map mode. Yeah, I have that. Why is there nothing else around? Oh, so these are covered by... Are they really covered by something? Because I don't see anything there. You do not have a fortress. Right, I want one in this corner. I want up there. I don't want to do a double. I want one here and one there. Or do I want one somewhere else? Because okay, we want to stop these guys from getting in. So if I have one here, it covers that province and that province. Because these guys are going to be my enemies. So I'm going to build one here. Build a fortress there. It's going to take three years to build. And one up here would block that and that. Because that would actually be... That would be all of my borders blocked. Alright. I'm sure my borders will move. <laughs> but for now, I want to try and build these. And I'm going to hope that goes well. Right, I want to colonise. So I need ten guys in the adjacent province. So, and a sea zone counts. So you guys have four. You guys have five. So we're going to move people to Amsivaria. Let's move some of you guys to Amsivaria. Move. Amsivaria. And what about... You from over here? There's only one guy there. Can we move people from up here over there? Amsivaria. We want. Amsivaria. Good. Alright, Amsivaria. What are you up to? Six, seven. So we want three more. What about guys from here? Oh, you're quite upper class. Amsivaria. Oh, could you get out of the way? Amsivaria. One. What about guys from here? Oh, of course, I already checked it. Uh, guys from here? That's my capital. That's not. Can I move my capital at all? Is there a way to do this? I want this to be my capital. Uh, I don't see a way at all. That sucks. Um, I lost count again. Uh, six, seven, eight. All right. Uh, we'll move one more of you guys to Amsivaria. And we'll move some more guys from up here to Amsivaria. Excellent. So now that we've got Amsivaria here, can I colonize you? I can. Excellent. I can't because I lack the stuff required and I can't afford it. You can buy it, but I don't have any shekels. I've just built, all the, uh, built a load of fortresses. But that's fine. Uh, we'll just wait for that to come through and then we'll have a go at colonizing this. And I think maybe even uh, Flevum as well. I want to expand. I want more land. So what are you? So this is all uh, the same little province there. So I want to take over all this stuff. It's just quite expensive to move people. That's why it's uh, that's why it might take a bit of time. But once you have the power, you can just roam free without a problem. It really won't take long at all. What do you want? An alliance? No, you are my natural enemy. I, uh, I'm going to decline that. I might go after the Angles though because they uh, they pissed me off by being shit. Right, uh, you guys colonize. All right. Do some uh, Freeman over. There we go. We now have this province as well. It's not. Oh, wait. So I actually gained the other population there, tribesmen. Alright. Alright. So, Amsivaria, if we move another guy there, because you got nine now. Could I, in fact, move this guy back? Could I move one of these people over? Amsivar. They're not Saxonian, so I can't. I have to move another Saxonian over. Okay, let's go to economy. How much is it to buy some of this? For 46. 
ducats you get load. Alright, so it's going to be quite a while. Because I need to move people and I need to uh, do that. So wait on that. Let us see about another war somewhere. Because I have truces with all these guys. Do I have a truce with you? Are you my friend? You might actually be my... No, you're ally to Herulia and Anglia. I could get one of my friends in, but not the other. You'd also get in Fosia. Fosia? That's you. So that's quite a lot of people to be at war with. I would rather not. What about you here? If we declared war on you, there'd be all those people. So I'm going to hold off. I'm going to let my fortresses be built. I've got quite a lot of power here now. I want to take it slow and steady. I rushed before as Anglia in my Anglia campaign, and I just stretched myself far too thin. And I got attrition to death. Scandal. None of our business. Uh, do that. Just having it flogged. Pocketary uh, will lose quite a bit. No game wounded. Oh, fuck him. He's been in something. Some sort of traitor. I, I don't know which kind of traitor, but he's been a kind of traitor. So we all uh, will ignore that. I want Flevum. And then you just uh, mass import people over here to move them down and you can convert them. But anyway, we'll move some people, uh, people down to Sivaria. Drop the chief, whatever. Uh, we got one there. We got you. We got. Alright, looks like it's going to be you guys. Move Amsivaria. Excellent. Let's head back up to 10 again. So we can colonize this shit as soon as I have uh, some people. Oh! Recently supported colonization and cannot do so until 55. Okay, so you got to wait. Looks like a year. Got to wait a year between in colonizations. Alright, we're learning. We are learning. That's alright then. So we can just wait a year and we'll be good to go. But why are you guys suffering attrition still? Normal winter. Get the, get out of winter then. Move. Run away. Avoid the winter. You see, I have lost a thousand manpower. This army hasn't done... The army did not do a single thing all that war, yet I have lost a thousand men. I'm not going to be able to get these, this manpower back. At all. Ever. The manpower never re returns. It just simply does not return. We deserve a festival, lose a load of money, which I cannot afford. A small sum. Eh, we can't afford this. High priest, lose some lord of me. I don't care. You see the issue with this attrition? I am going to be losing 90 men to attrition while only gaining 49 back. It's just always going to go down. There is no way to, to get it back. Say it's winter for half the time here. I am always going to be losing my men. It's it's really crazy. How on earth are my men to secure manpower? I've invited more tribes over, but nobody there seems to be doing a job. Scorn families, yes, all the new ones. So is there anybody we can maybe get, st get to work? Technology? Economy, religion, where's tech? Technology. Alright, so which families are we lacking here? All kinds. What family are you from? Rakeless. Rakeless. So we replace one of these guys. What's your uh, what's your stat there, buddy? 11, so you're very good. Your Marshal, 10, very good. Are you uh, Geraldus? You're very. These people are just good at their jobs. You're, they're all very good. What a very good uh, good nation here. Let's have a look at our government. Who is shit? You're not the best. We got anybody better than you? Are you from one of these these new families? Yes, Markles. Excellent. So that should be him a bit more happy. We've got a wise one here. Who can we replace the wise one with? Uh, which you're a Siggy. All right, so we'll get you in. And we got the Apocary, who I don't get on with. Is there a Hinkus? We've got Sigurd, Sigurd. Loads of Sigurds. Alright, let's get a Sigurd in again. They should no longer be scorned. Good. So you got these extra families getting involved. Hopefully now these guys will uh, get their finger out of pocket and start raising some troops. September 55. So we're getting quite close to being able to colonize this here. What did they say again? October 7th. Alright. Alright, buddy. 
Good. Colonize. Move. There we go. We are taking over the coast. We're going to be uh, bordering the Belgians soon enough. But anyway, that'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'm going to get back to uh, my uh, back to my campaign, and I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.